Previously on Welcome to the Family. Day one back in the office, in Miami at least. It doesn't feel like we were gone as long as we were. A huge list of things that gotta get done today. I'm sick of the dog. So that's how we get viewers to watch us. Is there anything on this? Oh my no. god! <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. We just returned from our Belize tour, ready to kick things into high gear. However, the team's health was in question. We are not even like a week into being back from the tour and Bert has been sick the entire time. It's like as soon as he finished the actual tour, his body just said, I'm done. And the cold that everybody else got, he finally got, and he got it bad. So I'm on my way to go give him some NyQuil and see how he's doing. <laughs> Great. Oh, huh? Unbelievable. Uh, really low. We're putting our pictures up. It's gonna look something like that. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, so. See? Well, he's a little sick after the trip. He's been sick for three days now. I guess my body broke down at the end of the two weeks. But either way, he's still working. He's been posting videos like crazy. While I continued to recuperate, Alexa and Valerie took some time out to sharpen their photography skills. So Valerie and I have been discussing the fact that she wants to learn how to use the monster, my baby, my cannon. And um, she never wants to touch it because she respects it. And I want to show her how to use it. And I think that she could improve her photographic skills, photography skills. So we decided to spend a little bit of time with my grandma and take some pictures in a park, spend some girlfriend time. To be fair, I simply asked for some pointers on taking pictures with a phone, but it, you know, got pushed to something a little bit larger and a little bit scarier, but I'm excited about it. It was a gorgeous day though. Yes, it is. Later back at the boa house so eric and i went to washington last year and we were really exhausted he decided to go get something out of the car and move it or something i don't remember what it was but he ended up crashing his car not crashing just severely denting the side of his car we come back and all of a sudden bird and i walk past eric's car and we see he's got a flat tire and two more really bad dents in his car we we're like oh my gosh what happened no. wait what your front? Your crash. Your quarter fender? Car's crash. Maybe I've been there and we never knew. No, I see that car all the time. Uh, I know what that was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's a flat tire. That's Dude. a flat tire. You didn't come here like that. I ran into the gate yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you what? The gate at the, at the apartment? Uh -huh. I have a flat tire and I need your help to fix it. We're gonna give Eric a little one on one how to change the tire. So, man, what's the first step in changing a top flat tire? Raise the car. You know, like a week and a half ago, I was changing another tire. Really? Yeah, the freaking van that we had in Belize broke, uh, the, the tire broke down too. Ah, you're good, man. Almost. There you go, learning a thing or two? Yeah, finally, man. All right. Oh, shit. Is that high enough? The wheel's gotta spin. Completely? Yeah. Alright, I'm looking to spin the wheel. We're looking for a dollar here, Bob. <laughs> Alright. You get it? Yep. Oh, you rock. Oh. Okay. There we go. There you go, then put all the screws on. Not too hard to do. Not too hard. Triple A guy would have been quicker, probably. Yeah, but you get to pay him. Why is it so small? Well, it's just meant to really help you temporarily. So now, do you think that you'll be uh, well equipped when you when your next tire fails you? I prefer that my next tire never happens. That's a regular tire, and that's a donut. We did it, man. Look at you growing up. I know. Look at you and your donut. Later that night, we attended an exclusive film screening. We're gonna go. I think this time we are gonna see the movie. <laughs> 300. Your favorite movie, bro? Yeah, this is my favorite movie. One of my favorite movies. We are headed to the movies um, because we're gonna see. Is it the premiere or just no, the first no. day? We're seeing the full movie. We're seeing the full movie of 300. 
part no. two. It, this is a screening. No, right, but we're seeing the last oh, screening. Was yeah, last screening was. Oh, really? Yeah. But this the, one is this one a full one? Well, it's good though because I got to see the 300 last time. So the last one was uh, you didn't get to see the whole thing? No, I got a teaser. I hope it's in 3D though. Oh, because the 3D look great, right, Mount Dylan? Yeah. It's kind of behind the scenes. Uh, we're actually here a month before the movie actually releases. And on top of that, there's also a very big line that we get to kind of skip in a way. What'd you think about it, man? The movie was phenomenal. It's yeah? one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. Everything, the editing, the, 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 the way they wrote it, the way they laid it out, it was awesome. You didn't see 300 part one, but... I didn't, but I think I figured out where 300 part one kind of fit in. Yeah, in yeah, yeah, they, they, they merged it together. It was, it was actually simultaneous with the first movie. Yeah. So and what was going on? Well, it was pre... During and post. Yeah. It was cool. So it was really odd. Never saw that before. They took, you know, their slow mo stuff that 300 is known for. Now they took it to a whole other level on this one. It was sick. Back in the studio. That sounds a lot better. Are you sure? All right, how important we each are in the race as a whole. And how important we, and how important we each are on how. It is that you're gonna live. Of how you're going to live this life. On how. Of oh, oh, how. Oh, of how. It's about really waking up and making a conscious okay, decision. Telling me does not mean screaming. <laughs> Don't yell at me. Today is my 29th and 7th month's birthday. That's what a geek says. Gotta get some fresh air and go out for lunch and do all those good things. It's funny because we've been doing these videos for, I don't know, almost two years now. And there's a lot of people that send us emails that ask us, what is it that we do? Well, I'll tell you what we do. We're motivational speakers. That's what we do. Uh, we go to keynote, we go to conferences and Bert does keynotes. And we also do training, co training programs for many corporations around the world. And um, we coach um, high level executives and um yeah and of course by now if you've been following us you know that we have a program called the motivational missionaries which is our nonprofit sector of our company to make sure that we get back so well, that's what we love to do and that's what we're all doing here and a lot of times you see us just in preparation behind the scenes of exactly what we do on our day-to-day -day basis um, in order to prepare for these events that we go to. Some we can show you, some we can't show you because there's no filming allowed in some of our private events. Um, but the events that we are allowed to film in, we always try to take you guys in there with us so that you can see, right? Yes, we do. Valerie and I went to Costco to go get some food for the army that we feed every day. And she happened to be wearing a quarter on her forehead on Ash Wednesday. So some people were like, okay, she did a quarter instead of ash. And some people were just freaking out that she had a quarter on her forehead and it was just sticking. Those daring few asked her what was going on and why she was wearing the quarter. I needed something today specifically to help me keep my, my mind and my energy focused on the positive. So okay, it's just but a, it's working for you. Yeah. Okay. You think you could ever try that? Me? I'm going to have a sweaty... Uh, I'm very positive. They say yeah. that I'm kind of negative, but you know. You know how it is. But mostly I'm positive. Yeah? Yeah. I want more quarters in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think when you see somebody with a quarter on their forehead? Um, to each his own. <laughs> Back in the car, there was a debate over word pronunciation. I've noticed that my grandmother in the beginning used to talk a lot and was very confused. And now you're saying that yours is doing it. But mine stopped. You know, we were with her on Sunday. Right. And... I've noticed that Alzheimer's patients from my grandfather. Why do you say Alzheimer's? Because it's Alzheimer's. Al Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's. Isn't it Al Alzheimer's? I've never heard it. Hold on. Alzheimer's disease? How do you oh, say Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Well, that didn't work because you were talking. Okay. I'll be quiet. How do you pronounce Alzheimer's? Look at that. It spelled it the right way. Alzheimer's disease. How to pronounce? Here we go. There's a YouTube video. I should not be Googling and driving. Alzheimer's. See? Uh -huh. I said it right. Alzheimer's. How do you pronounce? Alzheimer's. 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 He said the Z. He didn't say the Z. He said the Z. Alzheimer's. See? No Z. Alzheimer's. No Z. There was a Z there. Okay, shut up. <laughs> All right.
Ready? We're gonna get surround sound now. Okay. Alzheimer's. That was a T. There's no T there. But did you hear the T? I heard a C. Listen again. He says it three times. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. See? Zymers. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. He's saying it like a German. There's no T in German. Alzheimer's. <laughs> That's the difference between being a white girl and being a Latina. I hear a Z and she hears a T. <laughs> I don't know if that's the difference between white girls and Latinas or if that's just your ears and my ears so somebody has a blockage. That disease that people get when they get older and can't remember things is called? Alzheimer's. Is there a T in it? No. LJ, how do you say it? I say Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. So there's a T in it? I say the T. Alzheimer's. You say it's spelled with a T? I thought it was, but now I'm sorry. I think it's still, I think it's got a T in it. Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's. How can they mix it? Alzheimer's. Let's go ask Bert. That disease that old people get when they get older and they lose their memory, what's it called? Alzheimer's. What's it called? Alzheimer's. What? Why? Alzheimer's. Okay. Alzheimer's. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a T in there? No, not T. No, no, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. What? Alzheimer's, that's what I said. Do you hear a T in there? Yeah, it sounds like there's a T, but there's no T. I hear a T. <laughs> wow, it's 50-50, it's what? Yeah, Alzheimer's, but what you're hearing is the, the T at the end of the okay, T. Okay, LJ, how do you pronounce it? Alzheimer's. Huh? Alzheimer's. 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 Oh, Lord. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. I can't believe it. Alzheimer's. No. no! Okay, can you come over here and look at the spelling of this word for me? Does it have a Z in it? <laughs> Does no. it not have a Z? I'm not going to lead the witness. Tell me what it says over here. What does it say right there? Oh, well, this is a classic case of misspelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people that say often and realtor and library. These are all incorrect. Often. And irregardless. That's irregardless. <laughs> I know, I know, I used it the other day. <laughs> I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the Family Show. And what I. What? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So, what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're going to do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now.